Wednesday, September 18th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $129. Peace News Now is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Jaden Smith made headlines with a few controversial tweets this week. Quote, School is the tool to brainwash the youth. Education is rebellion. If everybody in the world dropped out of school, we would have a much more intelligent society. If newborn babies could speak, they would be the most intelligent beings on planet Earth. It was a delight to see the Squawk Box squirm as they jumped at the opportunity to proclaim that it is never the right thing to do to drop out of school. Should government agents force parents to send their children to school under threat of punishment? Clearly not anti-education or anti-intelligence, but strongly anti-school. Jaden may have a point. A blog post at dailypaul.com this week shows a photo of an AP U.S. history book which rewrote the Second Amendment to read, quote, The people have the right to keep and bear arms in a state militia. Is that how you read the Second Amendment? This story brought to you by the Sons of Liberty Mint. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. The truths of life are often counterintuitive. Sometimes the best education comes from leaving school, and sometimes lowering the speed limit results in more accidents. In a terrific 15-minute mini-documentary released online recently, it's revealed that speed kills is really a myth. In fact, most roads in the country would benefit from increased speed limits, where the result would statistically be more lives saved. However, speed limits remain low despite the increased risk to drivers in order to issue more tickets. Police are motivated by money, not driver safety. It couldn't be more obvious that police don't care about safety from the way they drive. The dash cam of a police cruiser in Ohio recorded a state trooper driving right over a couple on a motorcycle. The cop didn't even tap the brakes before colliding into them. His salary is paid by their taxes. He drives a taxpayer-funded car, which is filled with taxpayer-funded fuel, and he'll claim that in return, his job is to keep the people safe. Do you feel your tax money is being well spent? Do you feel safer when you see a cop car behind you? Oh, by the way, the couple lived despite serious injuries, and they credit helmets with saving their lives, not the state. A report of a Louisiana city that banned twerking with a first offense punishable up to 30 days in jail turned out to be a hoax, but a hell of a headline. Many were relieved to learn that shaking your hips is not illegal in Louisiana, but were shocked to learn that dancing at the Jefferson Memorial, even silently, even badly, is still illegal. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet that syncs with your smartphone at blockchain.info. An upcoming public offering was announced at BitcoinTalk.org. Cypress-based LMB Holdings is raising capital to fund two new ventures, NEO and the B Payment Network. NEO is a bank that will allow residents of Cyprus to seamlessly deposit, withdraw, or transfer either Bitcoin or Euros without requiring them to understand the complex technology. Each customer receives an eight-digit account number, allowing them to request payments much more easily than with Bitcoin's 34-character public address. B is a card payment network that operates merchant accounts which credit business accounts held with NEO. You'd use it like a Visa card to spend from your NEO account, either in Bitcoin or Euros. The flagship branch and second branch are both planned to open in February 2014. Learn more from the link in these show notes. Finally, in cannabis news, Harvard researchers showed that the active ingredient in marijuana cuts lung cancer tumor growth in half and significantly reduces the ability of the cancer to spread. The researchers say that cannabis could be used in a targeted fashion to treat lung cancer if only science could find a way to get cannabis into a patient's lungs. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. I want you to share this episode, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way. <laughs>